great river road. Good morning from Turner Bend, Arkansas. I'm about to start on my 165 mile through hike of the Ozark Highlands Trail. And uh, yesterday I drove uh, 10 hours from Minneapolis St. Paul down to Fayetteville and this morning I drove an hour from Fayetteville down to Turner Bend Outfitters where I will be catching the shuttle to the beginning of the trail. One down farmhouse hanging on a broke down porch looking over miles and miles and miles. Good morning from Lake Fort Smith, Arkansas the beginning of the Ozark Highland Trail. It's about nine o'clock in the morning and uh, I am off for hopefully what will be a 165 mile through hike of the trail over about 10 days. It's a pretty aggressive schedule so God willing I'll be able to complete it in that time. But uh, I'm excited to actually be on the trail. I was a little nauseous with anticipation this morning and uh, once you get on the trail here, all that goes away and it's left, right, left, right. Let's go. Walk along the lake, silhouetted by a crescent moon. When the sun starts rising, hitting 90 before the clock strikes noon. Don't you know the days and the nights? Dreams drift slowly by. Well, I'm about 10 miles in on day one here. Trail's been pretty good so far. Uh, as you may have noticed, my appearance is a little different on this video. I've always wanted to shave my head. Going to be on the woods for 10 days. Figured it'd be a good time to do it. So as you can see, the river, it isn't uh, the camera, is actually a turquoise color. Quite beautiful, a little bit different than what I'm used to seeing, but uh, we got a long ways to go today, so we better get on the move. Okay, I've seen online this week that the Forest Service is doing prescribed burns up in the White Rock Mountain area, and I think I've hit that area. As you can see, it's a little black. There isn't, any, there isn't any smoke or anything, so it should be fine. The nice part about walking on a prescribed burn area is it's easy to see where the trail is. As you can see, everything else is black, except for the trail is brown. That hard hit, hard land along the muddy shore. Alright, I made it to White Rock Mountain, uh, which is 18.5 miles into the trail. Uh, there's a little store and a campground up a third of a mile, so I hiked up that way. Got some ice cream and uh, Gatorade. And back down here to camp for the night. As you can see, a uh, pretty nice little camp spot. A nice little view looking out over the mountains. It's kind of foggy right now, but I expect it will be a uh, very nice sunrise in the morning. So it's going to be dark here in about a half hour, but I'm making dinner 
uh, on my fancy feast uh, stove there. Uh, gonna have some spaghetti with meat sauce and uh, probably a Snickers. So it was a good day. Uh, I'm very tired. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to keep this pace up the whole time, but uh, one day at a time. White cotton fields of Arkansas, yeah. Good morning. It's day two, another beautiful day in the Ozarks. A little before 8 a.m., about 45 degrees. I have about another 18 or 19 miles to go today. Yesterday was uh, very demanding, um, so hopefully I can keep up that, uh, that amount of mileage. But uh, we'll see how it goes. But it's time for some Pop-Tarts and a little bit of breakfast, so we'll see you on the trail. Well, I'm walking along the trail here and along the Ozark Highland Trail, there's a lot of these waterfalls. This one's pretty neat where you kind of walk right underneath it. So I'm about four miles in the second day and you know while you're out here on the trail you have a lot of time to think about things and uh, one of the things that I've been thinking about for now is maybe I'm trying to do too many miles in a day where uh, you know in the winter when you're sitting at your desk it seems like a great idea to try through hiking in 10 days but I think I might be getting too preoccupied with putting in miles and not enjoying myself enough. So I might uh, try to cut out some miles and maybe walk at a slower pace. And as you can see, I haven't been, uh, I haven't been, I haven't had much time to do a whole lot of filming because I'm too worried about getting to the next point. So I might call my shuttle here and try to skip a few miles and then skip a few miles at the end just so I can lower my daily mileage from you know the 17 18 miles a day down to a more manageable uh, 10 to 12 miles a day so keep on hiking see how I feel Watch it Well, I made it 12 miles today on day two. Uh, I stopped here at Thane Creek. Uh, instead of going up to uh, the Whiting Mountain. So, I've been doing a lot of thinking today and I've decided to abandon the uh, through hike attempt, which is 165 miles and I have 10 days. And I just decided that Trying to pull 18 and 19 mile days for for uh, 10 days just uh, isn't isn't realistic for me. So you know I, I'm not treating it as a failure. I figure you know life is too short, and I might as well enjoy the time I'm out here instead of being uh, overly concerned about my mileage. So uh, I stopped a little early today. There's a big storm that's supposed to be rolling in and I didn't want to be up on the mountain anyway But uh, gonna kind of regroup tonight and uh, Look through the guidebook and 
kind of decide what my plan will be moving forward. So, cheers. Good morning, it's day three here on the Ozark Highland Trail. <clears throat> uh, I have decided that instead of taking the trail up this morning, uh, up the mountain to our next spot, um, I've looked in my guidebook and my car is only parked about two miles away from here at Turner Bend. So what I'm gonna do is walk down to the Turner Bend store, um, hopefully work on an arrangement with them to go 60 or 70 miles up uh, the other side of the trail and hike back down to this spot. Uh, so six days from now, I can just walk in again and get my car. And I'll also get my resupply and ozone that way. So time for a road walk. So out here there have been a number of these one laid bridges on the roads that are uh, quite narrow. This one's actually kind of nice. Looks like it's newer, but uh, something different that you don't see up in my neck of the woods. Talk about a creepy couple outhouses with a cemetery next to this house. It looks like I have a welcoming crew. Hi puppy. Watch your home and river flow. Oh, man, river flow. There's a storm. 